Hey, what's up? Welcome to... This. Are you smarter than a second grader? Dun dun dun! Woo! Or are you smarter than a dragon? We'll find out. Dragon scales. Alright. Don't pick me. So, we're going to uh, kick it off a little different here, as you can see. Um, seeing as you already had the CA that had a lot of evolution stuff on it, um, we're just going to go through kind of some sample questions. Um, and, um, yeah, just have a little fun. Oh, yeah. Alright, so, Cohen, the gene frequency for a particular characteristic in a population was determined to be 80% big A and 20% little A. 50 years later, the gene frequency was determined to be 60% big A and 40% little A. What does this change indicate about the gene pool? Is it F, it is undergoing gradual change, G, it has become predominantly recessive, H, it has remained stable, or J, it lacks mutations? I would say G. You would be incorrect, right? Yeah. It would be that it's gradually changing. It's not a big change. So it was F? Very good. Good memory. Second grade, folks. Um, all right, so, so yeah. Um, hmm. Ooh, look at this, buddy. See these skeletons? Mm -hmm. These fossils? Ooh. Yeah, they look like that. Mm -hmm. what, um, what layer would be the oldest? Further down underground or higher up? I would say... Further down underground. Second grader gets it right. And sixth grader's here too. He looks confused like Bigfoot coming out of the woods. Alright. Um, Alright. Good deal. Hmm. 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 Woolly mammoths became extinct thousands of years ago. While other species of mammals that existed at that same time still exist today... These other species of mammals most likely exist today because, unlike the mammoths, they... F. Did not struggle to survive. G. Produced offspring that had identical inheritable characteristics. H. Had certain inheritable traits that enabled them to survive. Or J. Drastically altered their environments. It's F. How do you turn this off? It's actually... They had certain inheritable traits that enabled them to survive. So it was J. And it was actually H. What? But <laughs> he, uh, so I am Groot. Oh, great! It's broken. So anyway, basically, all right. That's good enough for that. Let's go ahead and turn that one off. Yeah. Thanks, Free. So basically, remember, traits that are that traits that can be inherited that are good for the um, population are gonna increase in frequency and then also let that population survive. The mammoths didn't have those traits that were helping them survive, so basically they went extinct. Do any of y'all play NBA Live Mobile? <laughs> Cause I will be Play it! Oh, alright, enough dance moves. Which of the following outcomes would you predict for a population of mosquitoes exposed to a new pesticide? Hmm. Let's Tell see. Me the answer, sir. F. It's G. Over several generations, the mosquitoes would become resistant to the pesticide. G. Over several generations, the mosquitoes would evolve into several new species. H, over several generations, the mosquitoes would all be killed and become extinct. That would be pretty cool. Or J, over several generations, the mosquitoes would be more susceptible to the pesticide. It's J. Actually, no. That's going to be F. Over, no. over, over several generations, the mosquitoes would become resistant to the pesticide. Because natural selection would have... 
a little bit of uh, differences, with variation, we say, um, between with the mosquitoes, and they would have a, a variation that allows them to be resistant, and then they would pass that on to their offspring, and eventually all of their offspring would be resistant to the pest. Am I Peter Rabbit now or something? Yeah. Sure. You are a right. Flopsy. Ooh, the next question was about rabbits, but ooh, Spurs, Spurs just started. Um, let's make this quick video. Uh, all right, so hmm. it's a magical pig with flowers. So if you see a bunch of um, if you see a bunch of bugs like that, and they're like dark in one picture, and then over a long time they change and they're lighter. Why did those bugs change? What do you think, penguin? Because maybe their environment changed, kind of like the peppered moth. Yeah, I think so too. Um, hmm. Natural selection produces change in A. Individuals during their reproductive years B. Populations over multiple breeding cycles uh, as mutations affect the reproductive fitness of different individuals or C. Individuals during their lifespan or D. Populations over a single breeding cycle as advantageous traits affect the uh, Supply of environmental resources of different individuals. Hmm. Remember, populations, natural selection is going to affect populations over a long period of time. So multiple breeding cycles, right? Right. Yeah. Did, you, did you even wash your face in the bath? Did you wash your face in the bath? I wash my face. I wash my. I wash my beard in every bath. Take a card down below. What? what are you Take a about? card down below. Just like, subscribe, or leave a comment. That's What's your true. favorite color? All we right. To know. In 2010, scientists excavated a skull fossil that provides evidence of a newly discovered species of big cat. Based on the evidence, scientists hypothesized that big cats branched off from smaller wild cats about six million years ago. Which of these resources did the scientists most likely rely on to form their hypotheses? Is it F, a food web showing feeding relationships of organisms where the fossil skull was found? G, population and migration data for small wild cats living in the ecosystem where the skull was found? H, the fossil record and DNA comparisons of big cats and small cats? Or J, the historical record of interactions between different species of big cats? Um, I would say it would be... Peach! How did you know? It was him. Oh. Good job. Mm, let's see here. Maybe like one more, because this is getting kind of long. And it's almost bedtime, you know? You, you know what else is getting long? Not hitting the subscribe button. Oh! Nice. Nicely done. YouTube connoisseur there. All right, let's see. One more. Here we go. According to the theory of evolution by natural selection, which of the following is true? A, genetic traits that aid evolution are not passed on to offspring. B, variation does not exist between members of the same species. C, populations will change over time to better fit their environment. Or D, no more offspring are born into a population that can survive. You can't talk. Mm, 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 mm. But book them. I, I need C. Mm, 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 I only got mm. one question right, and that's all. So hopefully you're all smarter than a second grader. Um, should we do one more or no? Yeah, we good? Nah, yeah. one more. One more. And Ooh. I'll fly off on my dragon. All right, cool. So here's a graph. So this graph shows... That how many um, Cohen's can fit in a box? <laughs> the effect of disruptive selection on a population of moths. Disruptive selection is a type I of want natural to know. selection. Would it produce two or more groups with different traits in a population? <laughs> Would it produce one group with sil similar traits in a population? Produce individuals of different sexes in a population, or produce individuals at different development stages in a population? It's obviously 
J. Well, if by J you mean A, then correct. Because look at the graph. See how Woo! after, can you see that? Uh -huh. See how after um, the natural selection, uh, you get the two curves on the outside. See, like there and there. It's showing that the species kind of changed into two different species. So, anyway, there's some samples again, kind of a different thing. We I feel like we've reviewed a lot. And, um, nice Nerf gun. Oh, we got to show Tom. Tom hadn't even been in the video. Oh, that was. Don't, you're going to break my computer. Don't shoot that. Okay, so for real. Did any of No, no, nobody's. No high schoolers want to play NBA Live, whatever, with you. Mobile. All right. Mobile. It's the best Hello, guys. Look at Tom. I am from Planet Tom. NBA. Right. What about NBA 2K16? Y'all, you want to play that? What? What planet are y'all from? Deuces. Leave a comment. No. But get out all my Strouch subscribers. Subscribe to Super Strouch Summer. See ya. <laughs>